trauma team to the trauma room. Trauma team to the trauma room. Shattered dreams. All right, airways intact. Let's go ahead and get her on the monitor. Laceration, the top of her head, it's like some glass in there. Airways patent. How much blood loss? Oh, yeah, I don't know. 500. Got the laceration, the top of her sternal chest. 985. We got open one for uh, left wrist. She's gonna need to go to the operating room for her leg and because her blood pressure is so She's very pale and looks like she, her life might be in peril here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, intubate her. So if we call respiratory, please, and we're going to go ahead and put her on the Some blood going, we're going to need to do a massive transfusion protocol with right. lots of blood, please. Blood's ready. I'm going to check a pulse, hold CPR. Okay, I have no pulse, no pulse on the monitor. I see no cardiac activity. Let's continue CPR. So at this point, we're um, assuming that she's bleeding out from her multiple traumatic injuries, and she also has a penetrating wound to her head. It looks like some glass sticking straight into her brain here. So. We're going to go ahead and continue CPR. I'm going to check a pulse again. Let's hold CPR. It's been three minutes since I've been injured anymore. I think we're going to, um, we still have no pulse and this is traumatic arrest. So we're going to go ahead and call it and I'm going to pronounce the patient dead here in our trauma bay at um, 10.30 on our trauma bay clock. This patient has died of her wound secondary to the automobile accident she was in this morning.